Hello and welcome. My name is Father Jonathan Smith, and I'm going to lead you through how to pray Lexio Divina, divine reading, which focuses on listening and responding to God's voice. If this is your first experience, I encourage you to watch a quick primer video on the history and the methodology that we will use today. Today, I'm going to walk you through this with praying with the Annunciation in Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. Let's just begin by saying a quick prayer to the Holy Spirit, asking the Holy Spirit to be with us as we meditate upon the Word of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Be with us in this time of prayer as we meditate upon the Word of God, listening to God's voice, and responding with great courage. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying, and considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I do not know man? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your kinswoman Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who is called barren. For with God nothing will be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. So as we listened to the word of God, as we heard uh, about the scene of the angel Gabriel appearing to Our Lady, we're going to take this time just to acknowledge right, that first step, to acknowledge what are the thoughts, um, the feelings, the desires that first rose in my heart when I heard that passage. You know, maybe an image came to mind. Maybe I'm thinking of a time when I received some news myself. I was unsure how to how to take it. Or maybe uh, I'm remembering when I was asked by God to do something and I said my yes and I trusted in the words of the Lord. And now we're going to relate those things to the Lord. And just take whatever it was that you just acknowledged, that you were thinking and feeling, desiring, and, and just tell that to the Lord directly. Lord, I, I, I think this. Lord, Lord I, I feel like I, I want to trust you more. Um, Lord, I, I want to um, believe uh, in the words that you speak to me. And just tell the Lord directly, right from your heart, And 
now we're going to receive, right? Receive from the Lord. We've spoken to him those things, that prayer. Um, and now we want to listen. We want to receive from the Lord. What he wants to say to us? What's a new thought, uh, a new feeling, a new desire that is welled up inside of us? Maybe it's an invitation from God to greater trust, greater surrender, greater abandonment to his will. Now we're going to respond. Now that I've heard God speak to me, how do I respond back to him? Maybe I, I thank him for his words to me, or I resolve to do something, resolve to have a greater trust, a greater surrender, asking him for the grace to be able to do so. And we'll end our time together by praying, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Well, thank you for joining me for this time of prayer today. Know that no time in prayer is ever wasted. It is my hope that this way of praying Lexi Divina will help you to deepen your relationship with the Lord and help you to grow in holiness. God bless.